Hey guys, it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com. Today we're making crepes. Now, I know crepes seem to intimidate a lot of people and they look really complicated, but it couldn't be more simple. I'm gonna get started on my batter here and it's just as easy as pancake batter. I'm actually gonna make it in the blender. If you don't wanna use a blender or you don't have one, you can just whisk it really well by hand and then put the batter through a strainer. You just wanna make sure that your crepe batter is really smooth and free of lumps. So let's get started. I have one cup of all-purpose flour, and I also have three quarters a cup of milk, and you can use low-fat milk, 2%. I'm using whole milk. You can use whatever you have on hand. I'm also adding half a cup of regular water. You may want to use filtered water if your tap water doesn't taste too great. I also have two tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to need more butter later for when we actually cook our crepes on a pan. Since I'm making sweet crepes today with Nutella and caramel and bananas and strawberries and all sorts of sweet things, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. If you're making savory crepes, go ahead and omit the sugar. Also, I'm adding vanilla since we're making sweet crepes. Again, if you're making savory crepes, go ahead and omit the vanilla. If you are making savory crepes, you can add in fresh herbs, you can add in all sorts of things, extra salt, cheese, to amp up that savory flavor. Even though these are sweet crepes, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. And the last thing I'm adding are two whole eggs. And that's the entire batter recipe, it's that easy. Don't forget, you can always get the full recipe in the description bar below for all of my videos. They're always posted on my blog. So I'm gonna pop the lid onto my blender here and give it a quick spin. Okay, so I just pureed my batter for about 10 seconds or until it's well combined and completely smooth. And I'm actually going to pop this in the fridge for one hour. Do not skip this step. You can do this the night before. The batter can sit in the fridge for up to 48 hours, so it can be made ahead of time. Just don't forget to refrigerate it. I'll meet you back here in an hour. Okay, so my batter has been sitting in the fridge for about an hour. As you can see, it's still nice and thin. You want it to be about the consistency of heavy cream. If it's too much thicker than that, your crepes won't spread out nice and thin. So go ahead and add a splash of milk to thin it out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take my crepe batter over to the stovetop and get started cooking my crepes. I have a small nonstick skillet here. I think this one's about nine to 10 inches. You want it to be about nine inches though. And it's over medium high heat and I'm melting a little knob of butter. And I'm going to pour about a quarter cup of my crepe batter onto my pan. And it may take you uh, one or two crepes to cook to really kind of figure out the best method of cooking them. But as you see, I'm gently swirling the pan around so that the crepe batter coats evenly the entire bottom of the pan and is nice and flat. I fast forwarded this cooking process for you a little bit so you can see the color of the crepe starts to change as it becomes cooked and it starts to bubble slightly, just ever so slightly. And that's when I know that it's ready to flip. So I just kind of shook my pan to make sure that the crepe was nice and loose and cooked on the other side. And I have a really thin spatula. I'm going to carefully flip this over. Don't worry too much, like I said, about it being perfect because you're just gonna roll up the crepes as I'm about to do right here. And it doesn't have to look perfect. So for my first crepe, I'm going to make a banana caramel crepe. So this is super simple and of course I'll list a bunch of ideas and things that you can add to the inside and garnish your crepes with. But right now I'm simply rolling up some bananas instead of my crepe, kind of like a burrito, and I'm going to drizzle it all over with homemade salted caramel sauce. And be sure to stay tuned for my video next Wednesday, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this caramel sauce. For my next crepe, I'm going to make a Nutella strawberry crepe. And this was actually the first crepe I ever had with my family. We were lucky enough to take a trip to France when I was younger, and I fell completely in love. I've actually microwaved my Nutella here for about 30 seconds, so it's nice and spreadable. That way it won't rip my crepe because it won't be too thick. 
I'm going to top my strawberries in one upper corner of my crepe and then fold it into a triangle. You can fold your crepes whatever way you like. The next step is to make my crepe look super pretty. I put some more microwaved and warm Nutella in a Ziploc bag and I just snipped one corner to make a small hole so I could drizzle more Nutella across the top of the crepe. This is going to make it look super pretty and like you're at a gourmet restaurant and if your crepe doesn't look perfect, this really helps to kind of distract from that. I just added some strawberries on the outside so you can see what was in the inside and don't these look so scrumptious? Yum! Okay guys, how beautiful do my crepes look? They look so elegant and gourmet, no one has to know how easy it really is. This recipe will be perfect to surprise your sweetheart on Valentine's Day with. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tune in next Wednesday. I'm gonna be showing you how to make this delicious caramel sauce. Thanks for watching.